Good morning, Storytime viewers. Happy Friday. I'm so excited to see you today. I hope you had a great week. Today, we're going to be talking about some weather. So before we get started with our two stories for today, I need everybody to go to their kitchens and grab a couple things for me. We're going to need a couple supplies to help us with this story time today, okay? So I need everybody to go and find a wooden spoon or any kind of spoon. It'll just make different noises and that can be exciting too. And I also need you to grab a pot or a pan, okay? So I need these two items or something similar. So I'll give you 10 seconds to grab something, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Okay, are we all back and we have our supplies for story time today? Okay, wonderful. Now we're going to be talking about a lot of different types of weather. The first type is rain and thunderstorms. Have you all ever seen a thunderstorm before? It can be kind of scary because the thunder is really loud, right? Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to, when I have my flashlight flashing, that's going to be our lightning. Okay, what comes after the lightning? That's right, it's the thunder. And the thunder can be pretty loud, huh? If it's really close, it might sound like the thunder and lightning are happening together, and that's actually what's happening. Sometimes if the lightning is further away, it'll take the thunder longer for our ears to hear it, right? Okay, so what I want us to do is when I flash my flashlight, that's gonna be the lightning, and then I wanna hear your thunder, okay? With the supplies from your kitchen, all right? I used to like to make a lot of noise as a kid, so this is what we're gonna do, okay? It's gonna be loud. Are you ready? You're gonna make thunder with me? <laughs> Alrighty, let's see if we can make some really loud thunder with this lightning, okay? Let's practice and then we'll start our story, okay? So I'm gonna flash the flashlight, which is gonna be the lightning, and then you all are gonna make the thunder, okay? Oh, that's some really loud thunder. Okay, I think we're ready to start with our first story for today. We're going to be reading Splosh by Mick Inkpen. Thank you to Houghton Mifflin Harcourt for allowing us to read this story. Splash went the rain on Kipper's umbrella. Ah, uh, he has an umbrella to keep him dry in the rainstorm. That's a great idea. Splosh went the puddle as Kipper jumped into it. Flash went the lightning. Oh, here comes the lightning. Are you ready with the thunder? Oh, more really loud thunder. Boom went the thunder. Drip, drip, drip went the water off the hedgehog's nose. Hop, squelch, hop, squelch. Hop, squelch, went the three little rabbits. Oh, look, I think he's sharing his umbrella. That's very kind of Kipper. <laughs> Those rabbits look pretty soggy. Ah, 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 choo, went the hedgehog. And then he did it again. Ah, choo. Oh no, I hope the hedgehog hasn't caught a cold. That's no fun. Slop, slap. Slop, slap, went the water under the umbrella. Oh my gosh, it rained so much, they're using the umbrella as a boat. Have you ever been in a rainstorm where it rained that much? I used to live in Florida. It rains like that there. <laughs> and at last, without a slap or a slop or a hop or a squelch or a drip or a boom or a flash, or a splash, or a splash, out came the sun. The end. That's how most rainstorms end, right? It's not raining anymore, it's not cloudy anymore, the sun comes out and it dries up all the rain. Okay, let's do one more impression of our thunder and lightning, okay? I'm gonna do the lightning and y'all are gonna do the thunder, okay? 
we go. Oh, you guys were too good at that lightning and thunder game. But your parents are tired of hearing the pots banging, okay? So let's move on to our next story. Now, there's more than just rain as a type of weather. Can you all think of another type of weather? Mm -hmm. Those are all great guesses. We're going to see if we can guess how we would dress in different types of weather, too. I have a bear friend who's going to help us with that. All right, let's get ready for our second story. Bear Gets Dressed by Harriet Zeffert and illustrated by Arnold Lobel. Early every morning, Bear begins to dress. What will he wear? See if you can guess. He's got a pretty full closet of all kinds of items. He's got a lot to choose from. Let's see what kind of weather he has to put up with. Today's very chilly. Bear is getting dressed. What will he wear? See if you can guess. Okay, so we've got some items over here. It looks kind of chilly out there. That poor bird is probably awful cold. He'll probably wishes he had something warm to wear. Now we have a beach towel, some shorts, and a red sweater. What do you think Bear will wear when it's very cold outside? Let's see if you were right. My red sweater keeps me warm on this silly, chilly day. He's taking a ride in his motor car. It's probably very chilly if he doesn't have a top to put over it, huh? What a rainy day. Oh, we know what rainy weather is like. We had to deal with that earlier, right? Bear is getting dressed. What will he wear? See if you can guess. Now what items do we have to choose from? We've got a yellow raincoat, some sunglasses, oh, and some ice skates. What's gonna keep us dry on a rainy day? Is it the sunglasses? Maybe not. How about the ice skates? Oh, that'll be better if it's snowing, huh? Let's see what he wears. A yellow raincoat keeps me dry on this muddle puddle day. There's a lot of rain in this book too, huh? Okay, what do you think the next type of weather is going to be? We've had rain and we've had cold. What's left? Let's see. It's snowing outside. Do you guys remember a couple weeks ago when it snowed real bad? That's gonna be like this. Did you wear shorts outside on that day? No, probably not. What about your house slippers? Probably wouldn't hold up the best in the snow, huh? But we have some mittens. That might make some sense. Green mittens make good snowballs on this snowy, blowy day. I hope he's not gonna throw a snowball at that bird. He looks like he's chilly enough. Okay, now we've had wind, cold, now we've had cold snow and rain. So what do we think could be next? Let's see. Today the sun is shining. Bear is getting dressed. What will he wear? See if you can guess. Oh, there's some sun and some clouds. Looks like it would be a nice day to be outside. What do you think he wears? Let's take a look. My blue shorts feel good on this funny sunny day. Oh, he's on a swing. I love to swing. Okay, we should probably only have like one or two types of weather left. Can you guess what it might be? Let's see. What a windy day. It's usually pretty windy over here too. I see leaves going by my window a lot too. Let's see, what would be best for when it's windy? Bear is getting dressed. What will he wear? See if you can guess. How about a yellow tank top? Is that gonna help you in the wind? 
maybe not the best choice. What about the umbrella? I like to have an umbrella on a windy day because it makes me feel like I could fly away. <laughs> but that leaves us with the jacket. Let's see. My jacket keeps me cozy on this sneezy breezy day. Early every evening, Bear goes to bed. Oh, so now instead of going to his closet, what's he going to wear to bed? His green pajamas. And he's got his bedtime stories with him. I like a good bedtime story. Good night, Bear. The end. Well, we've seen all kinds of weather this morning, haven't we? Just in 11 short minutes. We've experienced rain, snow, wind, cold, more rain <laughs> with our second story. Now, before we end story time today, I want everybody to go and look out their windows right now and see what kind of weather they can see. From my window, it looks pretty sunny. And I think it's gonna be pretty nice today. It'd be a good day for a walk outside. Now, if you want to see your weather outside more clearly, we have a cloudy craft you can take home with you. Miss Hannah made this one for me. So if you want to pick up a pair of cloud binoculars to make for yourself, the inside of the library is closed right now, but your family can call 719-562-5680 and schedule a time to pick up a bite-sized story time craft. And I'd love to see what you all create with your cloud craft. These are a lot of fun to help you see the clouds more clearly. All right, the weather's gonna keep getting colder and colder. And one of my favorite foods to eat when it gets colder is soup. So be sure to join me next week. We're gonna be having a story time that has to do all about soup, okay? Thank you very much for joining me for story time today. I hope you all have a wonderful week. I hope you all stay warm and safe. And I will see you all next Friday. Bye.